All right, guys, I'm over here at the Ego booth. Uh, they've got some really cool new tools as well. Uh, they've got the residential stuff over there, but they've also revamped their whole commercial line. Uh, it looks like they've done away with the battery, backpack battery for the most part, which I've told you guys I'm not a big fan of, but uh, looks like they've got some good tools. But one of the good solutions they've came out with is, uh, you know, another big problem we have with electric lawn care is finding a good charging solution. Um, you know, we, right now at our shop, we have multiple hot tub timers on different 15 amp circuits. And we even with those hot tub timers, we still have issues that go bad. Uh, you know, something happens, trips a breaker, and then you end up going into work and none of your stuff's charged. So what they've come up with is this uh, battery charging system. Uh, to charge Ego batteries and let me play this video here. What it is is you have this commercial charger. Uh, this plugs into a standard 120 uh, outlet, 15 amp outlet and this thing will sequentially charge banks of batteries. So let me play this. So what you do is you daisy chain these banks of three chargers and you can actually keep daisy chaining them. What it'll do is it'll charge, you know, three at a time and it'll sequentially charge them. Once it's charged these, it'll charge the next one and then the next one. Uh, and even with these, the app, you can program it to charge, you know, in a different sequence. Like if I want to charge this one first and then this one and then this one, you know, maybe you have a certain bank in your trailer that has 10 amp hour batteries and you want to charge those first or whatever. Uh, there's some customization there. Um, but they say you can charge 96 two and a half amp hour batteries chained together in about 10 hours so you know or you know maybe 25 26 10 amp hour batteries uh, in that time so that's pretty pretty incredible especially off of one 15 amp circuit and you know unless you've got a shop situation which we don't where you have you know five to ten uh, individual breakers where you can charge everything uh, this is a big solution and this really helps uh, help solve that problem so I'll show you some more so you can see these things chained together you know so like I said 96 at a time so they've got these these three three bank chargers they've also got they've came out with this 40 amp hour battery right here that you can use as a mobile charging system so this thing will you can use this to charge up to 14 of the smaller 56 volt batteries this big battery this big 40 amp hour battery doesn't do it doesn't go in any tools currently I don't know if they'll ever make this to where it goes in like the z6 or anything but right now it's just used to fuel these smaller batteries um, these you can plug these into the daisy chain to you know from the commercial charger you can see right here they have three of these 40 amp hour batteries and then they're charging the three bank batteries as well so very cool solution you know something much needed obviously in uh in our space and that's another really cool thing that they're working on um otherwise you've got a lot of cool tools here you know they've got a curve shaft edger this is all the commercial stuff uh they've got a carbon fiber straight shaft edger uh, we still use the uh, powerhead system, you know, they're a lot lighter, but these are significant. They're heavier, they're definitely heavier than what we use, uh, but they are lighter than the first generation Ego commercial stuff we used. Um, if I've never had any issue with what we use, but if you prefer something more heavy duty, uh, you know, they have those options. Looks like they've got uh, carbon fiber uh, hedge trimmers as well, pole, trim pole hedge trimmers. Um, got a super long pole saw here. This thing looks pretty cool. Uh, got a carbon fiber shaft, so a pole chainsaw. You can see right here, you know, we all know that Ego batteries are very waterproof, so you can see this blower still working uh, despite uh, being under water for a couple days now. Um, right here, if this is something you do a lot of brush clearing uh, and you need one of the motorcycle grip, like kind of handlebar, uh, trimmers, you know, that's a, that's a cool tool right there. That's a pretty beefy brush blade um, But that's another solution they've came out with and You know, they had their string trimmer as well. Let's check out. I'm not sure if this blower is new But they've got a new 800 CFM blower that uses dual batteries. So that's pretty cool uh, You know, I've talked about before. I'm not a big fan of the big backpack batteries, um, but you know I'm glad that they were able to adjust and use the same battery platform uh, for this.
Here's the rest of the Ego tools. So I just showed you the commercial. Here is the, uh, you know, so-called residential. You know, we, we still use this stuff commercially. It works very well. But they've got the new Zero Turn, uh, you know, with the steering wheel. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I haven't used it. I might take it for a ride and see how intuitive it is. Oh, we need to ride this big thing, this thing. Yeah, we need to try it out. So, see this guy trying it the first time? So, I don't know if he's going to hit the wall or not. Oh, man, he almost got it. But somebody first time driving that thing, that's pretty, pretty, uh, seems like he's picking up pretty quickly. Might be coming at me right now. Let's see. Oh, there he goes. So, very cool. Uh, cool machine. I want to try that out because I've never driven uh, one of those, like the Cup Cadet or the new Ego where you have the steering wheel. Uh, but they've got all their other mowers. They've got the, uh, some uh, cool accessories, the covers, the shade covers for them, uh, these little uh, compartments for hauling debris and stuff, the baggers. Um, I believe they have upgraded some of their mowers. Uh, they've, you know, some of the older models, they've upgraded to brushless m motors. Um, they do look a little different, so I'm not sure what the actual features are that are improved. Um, but they have, uh, they did say they have improved their, their push mowers, which are already very solid.